Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for February the 3rd. I'm going to be pulling one card for each sign, so if you know all your planetary placements, you can actually get quite a bit of juice out of a short little video like this. Those of you who don't know your planetary placements, an easy way to find that that doesn't cost you anything is by going to astro-seek, S-E-E-K, to look at that. And no, I am not affiliated with them. I get nothing for telling you about that. That's just my place, my favorite place to look at astrology and kind of my jumping off point whenever I'm looking at something about myself. All right, let's get started. Aries, Eight of Pentacles showing up in reverse. This just means you're not doing any kind of work today. Nothing's getting accomplished. Not happening. Okay, so not going into work, not doing work around the house, not doing volunteer work. Work is not happening today, Aries. Next up, let's look at Taurus. King of Cups showing up in reverse. Taurus, I do feel like, um, you know what, I feel like this is you. I was going to say it's somebody else, but it doesn't feel that way to me. So this is um, you basically letting somebody know that you don't appreciate uh, something. <laughs> Either something that they offered you or something that they're doing, but you're just letting them know that, you know what, I, I don't really appreciate that. I think that things need to change here because this is not cool. Okay. Next up, let's look at Gemini. Gemini is nine of cups. We like this card. This just means that you have something to celebrate today. You're feeling satisfied, fulfilled. And really, I feel I do get a big celebration feeling from this. So something that you're celebrating today, Gemini's. Next up, let's look at Cancer. Cancers, you guys have the King of Pentacles showing up here. Excuse me. King of Pentacles just means that you are doing something today um, that has to do with your money or your financial situation. This isn't about going out and earning money. That's more the Knight of Pentacles. But this talks about doing something extra with your money. So planning for your long-term um, stability. Could be investing. Um, could be getting uh, a trust set up, something along those lines. So you've already got the money. When we've got the King of Pentacles showing up here, you're just doing what's smart with the money now, okay? So that's for Cancer. Next up, we're looking at Leo. So Leo's, we have the Prince of Wands showing up in reverse. I do feel like this is somebody that you're interacting with. I know that that is your suit traditionally, but um, the way it's coming through for me is that this is someone you're interacting with today, and this is somebody you may be trying to schedule some kind of appointment or get something pinned down with this person, and they are just really um, not willing to make any kind of commitments to anything right now. So this could be a little bit of a frustrating situation. Next up, let's look at Virgo. Six of Pentacles showing up in reverse for Virgos. This just tells me that Virgos, you are paying somebody back or paying something off today. Woo woo, we like it. Libra, Prince of Swords. This tells me that you are um, stating your position with somebody <laughs> in a probably a very enthusiastic way, definitely very quick and direct way way. You could even be in some type of debate, but definitely letting somebody know what you think about something. Next up is Scorpios. Scorpios, Six of Cups in reverse. Blech. We don't like this card. This just means that there are old memories coming up from the past that are not so hot. They don't make us feel so good. And a lot of times when we have these old memories come up, it's because somebody comes back from our past to carry on those old memories with them. Let's look at Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Princess of Wands, showing up in reverse, something that you're not feeling very enthusiastic about. And I think that um, you are letting somebody know that you're feeling less than enthusiastic about, about whatever this is. You're talking about it. Next up is Capricorn. Queen of Wands showing up in reverse. My goodness, didn't we get this for a combo for Aquarius and Pisces yesterday? So Capricorn, Queen of Wands in reverse, just means that you are not feeling as fiery, as happy, as outgoing as you usually do. In fact, you may be even a little bit shut down and not really wanting to talk to people any more than what you really have to just to get things accomplished uh, because you're just, you're just not feeling like lifting people up and making them happy today. 
you're feeling like, you know what, I need to be happy before I can make other people happy. How about we focus on that? All right. Next up, let's look at Aquarius. Are you serious? I did shuffle, I'm telling you guys. Princess of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, all in a row. If we get the Knight of Wands, no, we've already had the Knight of Wands earlier, so we won't get that in this last batch. Okay, anyway, Aquarius, King of Wands showing up in reverse. This is telling me that you have some type of um, situation that you're just really not sure how to handle it. And I think that the idea that you're not sure how to handle the situation kind of is an extra thing that puts this over the top because normally you're pretty good at handling whatever the situation is. Normally you're pretty good at coming up with solutions. Right now you're feeling a little stuck. Okay. And last but not least, we have Pisces with the Queen of Pentacles showing up right side up. We like right side up queens. Yes, yes, yes. Queen of Pentacles just means you're doing pretty good on your self-care today, Pisces. You're making sure that you are replenished so that you have plenty to give other people. But for today, self-care is the order of the day. We like it. So guys, thank you very much for spending some of your precious time with me. I do appreciate that. Also, um, thank you for commenting and for sharing this video around and for um, liking because all of those things do help spread news about the channel so that I can assist more people and that's ultimately the goal here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Also thank you to those of you booking private readings and Reiki sessions and Reiki candles with me. I really enjoy getting to know each of you on an individual basis so thank you very much. And you guys all of your support at every level helps me to move forward and keep doing what I love for my living so thank you very much. Everyone have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys back on the next video. Peace out.